Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 18th of October. I'm James Spann. The tropical system in the Gulf will affect the state tomorrow, especially the southeastern part of the state with rain. Then a chance of strong, maybe severe storms early next week. Very active pattern. So let's discuss things. There's the upper look this morning across the country. The trough that brought the very chilly air we have is over the northeastern states. Look at those 30s this morning. Cullman and Fort Payne at 38. Haleyville, 40. Highs in the low 70s in most spots today. There's the watch warning map. Freeze warnings for parts of Michigan, Pennsylvania, Maryland. Got a few scattered winter weather issues back in the northwest. And, of course, a tropical storm warning on the Gulf Coast. And we'll discuss that situation here in just a second. Got a marginal risk of severe storms later today and tonight on the Gulf Coast of Florida from near Panama City down to Fort Myers. There could be a small, brief water spatter tornado in that zone. Tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe storms for North Florida and the coastal sections of Georgia and southeastern North Carolina because of the tropical system. Then on day three, which is Sunday, we have a marginal risk to the west of the state with a cold front from near Abilene and Dallas-Fort Worth up to Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Springfield, Missouri. And Monday, day four, a risk of severe storms over much of Mississippi into parts of west and northwest Alabama along that front. And again, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Big numbers for the Pacific Northwest and again the southeast looking pretty wet. Rain amounts for most of Alabama between one and two inches. Over the next seven days, we'll have some rain tomorrow. And again, those strong storms in here late Monday and Monday night. Another chance of rain at the end of next week. So let's look at potential tropical cyclone 16. Trying to get its act together in the Gulf. This is moving very quickly, moving northeast at 14. It will be accelerating as it gets in the mid-latitude westerlies. Here's the track from the Hurricane Center. Brings the broad center into the panhandle after midnight tonight. Don't focus on the dot. This is just going to be a lot of rain. Uh, and again, the most significant impacts will be along and south of the circulation center. Then it races up through Georgia and South Carolina, back out into the Atlantic by early next week. And most of the rain with this feature is going to be down in southeast Alabama uh, tonight and tomorrow, and down across the panhandle over into Georgia and South Carolina. And that's some rain they could use down there. Let's look at the modeling on this. This is the GFS, the 06 c run, 4 o'clock this afternoon, big trough in the west. Ridging in the east, underneath the ridge, we have the tropical system. Uh, 4 o'clock today should be due south of Gulf Shores in the Gulf of Mexico. Rain will likely begin on the Gulf Coast by mid to late afternoon today. This is just after midnight tonight, 1 a.m. The broad center coming up toward uh, Port St. Joe, Apalachicola, with rain over southeast Alabama. Then tomorrow at 1 o'clock, the weakening low is over South Georgia with rain mainly over East Alabama. And understand if you're on the western side of the state, it could rain some tomorrow. Uh, Tuscaloosa, if you're tailgating the Alabama game, some light rain possible, but nothing probably too heavy or widespread. The better rains on the east, and even there, it most likely will be light. There certainly could be some rain for the UAB and the Jacksonville State football games. Those kick off at 3 o'clock, but again, I don't think it'll be all that heavy or a really big problem. And this is uh, tomorrow evening at 7. The rain should be exiting the state at that point. Otherwise, cloudy tomorrow will be in the 60s most of the day. Sunday, we are in between systems. We warm up into the upper 70s, the sky partly sunny. We note that surface low that's over South Dakota. Monday, that low is over Minnesota with a trailing front down to Memphis and Houston. And that could push a band of strong, maybe severe storms in here Monday afternoon or Monday night. And typically, with the surface low so far north, the main threat will be from strong straight-line winds. And this is the instability Monday. And again, you can see there are you know, significant cape values. They're not that high, but uh, this time of the year, you don't need a lot to get a band of strong storms going. So we'll be watching for strong straight-line winds with the line of storms late Monday and Monday night. And then Tuesday, we are dry. 
and seasonal. Lows in the 50s, highs, low 70s. Wednesday looking good. Thursday of next week, a new storm begins to form west of the state. And this is a week from today, Friday the 25th. Look at the trough axis west of here. And the end of next week looking wet, maybe stormy. Uh, maybe Thursday night and Friday. What, 10 days? This is Sunday the 27th, a zonal flow and a dry air mass. This is the uh, rain coming off the European. 15-day uh, totals for Birmingham between 2 and 3 inches. The mean is the green line. Some of the members, of course, are higher or lower. And temperatures, we creep up into the 70s Sunday and Monday, but on most days for the rest of October, highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.